no matter where you go around the state of Washington, you'll likely see a significant house that's been preserved or a beautiful home. And this is one of the most remarkable ones. This is the Schmidt House in Tumwater, Washington. The Schmidt family led the development of the Olympia Brewing Company. Coming from Montana, where they were brewers of beer, they tasted the water at Tumwater and said, this artesian water has something extra. We're gonna build a brewery here. They were very successful. They hired thousands of people throughout the western part of the United States to distribute beer for them. And this was one of the contributors to this community. This is a beautiful location. And today inside this home, we had the opportunity to talk to Mr. Bob Krim, who was with the Schmidt family for decades. He knows the insides and the outsides of the family and the house and the neighborhood. And it's just a real opportunity to find someone like that who can help us to develop and show to the public this beautiful location. You know, there was a time when there weren't very many wealthy families in Washington State, but this was one of them. And uh, you had the, the honor, really, in many ways, to, to be amongst them on a day-to-day -day basis. The Schmidt family at Tumwater, Washington, the builders and creators of the Olympia Brewing Company. Could you have had a better life than that? No, I would do it again. I, I would really do it again because the Schmidt's are very nice, wonderful people. And they're beautiful people to work for. Who actually lived here? Well, that was Leopold Schmidt, the founder of the brewery. He built a house to start with, and he lived in it here. He used to have the brewery down below, and he used to walk down to the trail and go to work every day. And uh, in this part of the house that we're sitting in now was built in 1910 because he had a heart problem, and he couldn't go down there anymore. And so that's why this here was added on. What was your daily routine like? My daily routine, well, uh, coming in the house to Clara, we had a little, there's a little glass room in there, and uh, I come in and she would make breakfast for me, and we sat down there and talk for about an hour before I go out to go to work. Well, that's a pretty good deal. So yeah, <laughs> and then at lunchtime, she cooked lunch for me, and we used to have it in the house or go out in the back there and have it outside. They were in Montana originally. Right. And uh, he, he came here on business and, and he could see the opportunity with, I guess he tasted the artesian water and he thought this would be the spot. And uh, tell me about that a little bit. Well, yeah, he came from Montana looking for good water for, for brewing beer. And uh, he came here to the Chutes River and found this one, and tested the water and everything and it sent it back and had it all made perfect for brewing, so that's why they kind of settled here. And, and here he could ship the beer by boat yeah. to places like the Alaska Gold Rush and California, and it could all go out on barges, and they could, uh, wasn't, wasn't quite like Montana where they had to take everything out by horses and wagons. So this was an ideal location, in the, and, and this beautiful home was constructed uh, above the mouth of the river, and the brewery was that those days down on the river, wasn't it? Right, it was down on the river, yeah, that was the first one. And the brewery just took off, and everybody loved the beer, and it just grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when Prohibition come in, you know, they had to shut it down. And then when they started it up, they started up a bigger brewery across the road, which was 1933, I think it was, and made a bigger one and could handle more barrels and more beer yeah. and more sales. And it's amazing, uh, in many ways, the Schmidt family put Olympia on the map. Yeah. And uh, Olympia was, you know, the state capital, but that was only kind of a small potatoes deal compared to the brewery. Yeah, right. I, I, uh, I know that old timers say that when the brewery whistle blew, you knew that uh, uh, the stores would reopen and went downtown and everybody was coming home and right. time to go shopping. It was time to go in the morning and, and quitting time, lunch time, you know, everybody lived by that whistle. Yeah. Well, uh, what a historic location to uh, be right here by Tumwater Falls and, and uh, have the 
The amount of history that revolves around the falls is, is just incredible. The first settlers and uh, Michael T. Simmons and the wagon train coming in here and how those people scattered out and, and, and really developed this community. But the Schmidt family was a big part of that. The biggest part of it, I think. <laughs> and you know, they, they settled the whole thing on here and, and everything took off from here. We got the uh, Tumwater Falls Park, which they started back in 1962, I think it was. And uh, then they built the golf course, and that was another big, big thing. What about the celebrities? You know, in the, in the 60s, this place was booming, and they were bringing people in here. And uh, Bing Crosby's grandparents lived right down the hill here. And right. They restored that house, the Crosby house. What about these celebrities you brought in? Who did they bring in here? We have Bing Crosby brought in uh, several movie stars because they threw parties uh, the brewery threw parties for all of this and they brought in all these movie stars for the people that worked here at the brewery it was a fun time in in the 60s when you had a lot of stuff like that going on it was just a good time we had dancing down there and they had uh, all kinds of stuff There's a lot of benefits that are enjoyed today by, by families that have a developmentally disabled child or a child with autistic or other problems because of the advocacy provided by the Schmidt family and others. They really made a difference in early laws in our state to make things better for disabled people and handicapped people. Yeah, they did a wonderful job on all of that. It's a legacy. Yeah. Real and, and I'm glad that just goes on and on and on. It keeps on going. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a great legacy that you've helped create here. And this is a beautiful spot in our state of Washington. And it's a great place to come and enjoy. Yeah, well, you know, you got the Puget Sound and everything here. You don't need to really go anywhere else because you got everything right here yeah, you're right. to enjoy. Yeah. So it's a very beautiful surroundings and everything. Well, thank you for your work. Thank yeah. you. It's yeah. a pleasure yeah, talking to welcome. you. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you. Another remarkable thing is the brewery hired well-known artists who created the really advertising for the brewery, but the whole collection has been saved and uh, goes on display quite frequently here at the Schmidt House. It's, uh, it's another gift that the brewery legacy leaves for all of us. What an incredible location. It just outlines how significant this beautiful home is. The Schmidt House, right here in Tumwater, Washington. Truly one of my favorite places.